Detective Blancett's heroic actions are having far-reaching effects. A Middle Tennessee firefighter says he wouldn't be here without him. Liam Collins spoke with him today and is live right now in the studio with his story. Liam. Yeah, David, Cindy, nearly 23 years ago, a bad car wreck sent Benjamin Honeycutt's life on a completely different path. And he has Detective Matt Blancett to thank for saving it. Actions which could have saved countless more lives as a result. I was told it was a pretty gruesome sight. Benjamin Honeycutt shouldn't be alive today. It was 1045 at night on December 16, 1999 on South Pittsburgh Mountain. He lost control of his car and hit the side of the mountain. He suffered dozens of injuries, including severe head trauma and the severed aorta. With my injuries, you know, the trauma surgeons, you know, told my parents that, you know, the grace of God is what kept me here on this earth. The grace of God or the grace of a friend and his dad. Matt Blancett and his father Donald were South Pittsburgh volunteer firefighters at the time. They responded to the crash and took him to the hospital. Doctors told him he had a 10% chance of surviving. To this day, he swears the Blancets saved his life. Because of their life-saving measures, I mean, I'm still here today and doing what I do best. What he does best is fighting fires in Murfreesboro. He's done that for 18 years, all inspired by the accident that almost took his life and the people who saved it. God placed him in the, in the right position at the right time, and they saved my life. And because of them, for the last 18 years, I've been able to save some lives myself. The earth has lost such a good soul, but heaven gained one. Honeycutt said goodbye to that soul this weekend, a salute to the man who saved his life and changed it every day since. I'm in the position that I'm in right now because of that night. And so I'm still here. Now, Honeycutt says he wanted to live in South Pittsburgh as a teenager. Blancet was the first person he met there and who made him feel comfortable after that. They were friends ever since up until Blancet died last week. Cindy.